if you're a stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home parent, and you never work the 10 years, the 40 quarters required to get social security, you'll never qualify for social security disability if you become disabled. A lot of people say, well, can I get it off my husband's work record? No. Can I borrow, beg, steal some credits from someone else? No, the only way to qualify for disability is if you've worked long enough, if you paid into the system long enough to qualify. Now, for a younger person, they don't necessarily have to have the full 40 credits, which you get four credits a year over 10 years. You can Google it, how many credits you need for your age. But if you do get it at 25, 35, at a young age, just because you qualify doesn't mean you'll get very much because with social security disability, the amount you get is based on how long you worked and how much you paid in. So for a stay at home mom, you will never be able to qualify for social security disability. Now, if you're single, you might be able to qualify for social for supplemental security income, SSI. That's a different form of aid for people that don't qualify for disability that are low income. So if you are a stay at home mom and you're unable to work, and you don't have enough credits to get disability, you can wait until 62, you'd qualify for social security retirement. If you're still married, you can qualify after your current spouse once your spouse starts drawing his own social security. So if he's a lot younger than you, that might be a problem because you have to wait until he draws his own benefits. Or if he's just the same age as you, but he wants to work three, four, five more years, you won't be able to draw as a spouse until your spouse draws. If you want to qualify off an ex-spouse's work record, that marriage had to have lasted 10 full years. You can't currently be remarried, but you could draw off an ex-spouse's work record. Again, if you turn 62 and your ex-spouse is at least 62, it's a little more lenient when you're drawing off an ex-spouse. He does not have to be drawing his own social security ever. He just has to turn 62 so that you can qualify to draw off his. So you might not be able to qualify for disability, but you will qualify for spousal benefits. Off your current spouse, if you're married, only one year. Off an ex-spouse, if you were married, at least 10 years. Now, if you never were married long enough to qualify off an ex-spouse and you're not currently married, then you will not get Social Security. We, the, a lot of people think that everybody just gets a check for like $1,500 a month. No, nope. Social Security is a pay-to-play system. You have to pay in to get out. So if you don't have any mechanism to draw it off someone else as a survivor or a spouse, you won't be eligible for social security. You'll be eligible for Medicaid, some other type of program in your state to help people with low income. Hope this helps. If you like this video, you might really like this video. Check it out. And we'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a great video. We put out one every week. Check in the description below this video for a link to our cheat sheet on Social Security and Medicare. And you can also give us a comment. If you have a specific question, always feel free to call us or email us at the Medicare family.